Might as well start with the rocket. Can't go wrong with the rocket. I'm going to try and use every car as the default setting, standard, standard, limited, middle. When it's like this, I'd say it's a pretty above average car, you know? Pretty good acceleration, average top speed, above average cornering, I'd say. For the type of car it is, it's mid-size, pretty average, maybe above average strength. So without any upgrades, armor put back on the car, you know, this is the way it would be if you just had a normal A-Class, no other upgrades. Pretty good acceleration, same top speed, same cornering, better strength because of the armor on the bumpers. Again, 246 isn't bad. It's pretty low for A-Class, but it's still A-Class. Haunted Destruction Dirt Devil Stadium. That sounds pretty good. 12 laps. I feel like AI is only annoying in the lowest uh, the lowest categories of the campaign or the world or like of the different series that are available. The only time that AI at expert difficulty is annoying is at the lowest sections where it actually kind of matters. I want to try the thing that I did in Nightmare 100% and see if it works here. Oh, it does. It's not that much faster, but it does work. I think the problem is the entry into the trick is really slow. Thank you, Brain Juice. Damn it. That didn't work.
Do the last little bit in first person. And you gotta do an in-depth of the review. Yeah, if you're gonna do an in-depth review, you gotta do all the different camera angles. And I'm really only gonna focus on far third person. No, with yeah, I'm gonna only focus on Chase Far 2 and first person. Check this out. Gotta catch this dude really easily. Takeaways, takeaways. Well, first thing, the Rocket is a pretty solid car. So, special to this car. I'll probably go over this with every car, but special to this car, it has an upgrade, or no, this car has a trophy that is specific to it. And I see that very few people have it. And I'm about to show you guys how easy it is to get. The super easy way to do it, it would have been Motor City Circuit. Reach a speed of 200 kilometers per hour, no, 210 kilometers per hour, or 120 miles per hour. I have it set at miles per hour, so I think I just have to reach 120. I should be able to reach 130, I think, though. So just for the sake of speed, You don't have to do this, you can get the speed really easily. This is a straightaway I always use though, because it's downhill. Look at that, 130, super easy. And your car still survives, look at that. For racing purposes, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Demolition Derby purposes, however, I was on extreme difficulty, but still, I'd give it like a, I don't know, I'd give it a 3 just because its strength value is so high. But you really shouldn't even be using mid-sized cars for demolition derbies, that's the main thing. It just doesn't work.